Bonsoir, mes amis. Aujourd'hui, nous allons jeter une oil, la dernière chevalier. Petit bâton chaud. Yeah, you know, because he's French and that, you know, like, like, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's funny, right? Because he's got a French accent in the film. And, you know, ha <laughs> ha hey, hey, Barry, hey, Barry, can we, can we get like a, like, like a beret on him? And uh, maybe like a stripy shirt? Baguette, that, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. What? It's it's a bit racist. Yeah, you're probably right. So the last night, Legion Hot Rod or Hot Rod. I've got to get this out of the way now. You know, all the French stuff. Haha, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's, it's a little character quirk, and it's a bit interesting having a French accent in Transformer because that's never actually happened before. But like, I, I get the distinct feeling that in the film, he was only given that accent just because it would be funny because he can't pronounce his own name clearly and people think he's called something else and he has to go no 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 hot rod hot rod and it's like haha it's not really funny at all is it so um yes that new completely different looking hot rod everyone lost their minds over a bit when he was first turned off because he hasn't got any flames Ah! Yeah, but remember, Ironhide was black and Ratchet was green, and no one apart from Bumblebee or Optimus has looked vaguely like their previous incarnations. So, you know, put all that to bed. Hot Rod, as a new robot, looks vaguely cool, although of course he does a lot of the old lockdown thing with the bits of car on his chest, and of course, the deluxe figure is just locked down with. Well, it's, it's not really, is it? It's, it's mostly new, apart from like the shins down, it's still locked down and I don't like those chickeny feet. So yeah, I went for the Legion class hot rod because he's cheap. Um, I don't want to spend 25 quid on the lockdown retail. And he popped up out of nowhere to me. I was just in Azaz and I was like, what's this? What's this? Little tiny hot rod. I completely forgot that even existed. I'll buy you. You might be a bit of fun. And here he is looking all super super detailed you know for such a tiny fella nice shiny midriff glossy black pecs that are totally not the front of the car because the front of the car is up here don't look don't look um but he looks all right he's a decent little fella now he does all the, the sort of legion oh he does all the legion things you'd expect you know he moves the shoulders and they go out a bit and he's got hips and knees and toes and there's a song in there isn't there it's always nice always nice to get knees on a guy this small, just adds a little bit of dynamism and all of that, and he was quite dynamic in the film, you know, a little bit acrobatic, so that's quite nice. Although, of course, you know, his lower legs are just the back half of the car and it's nothing like his robot look. Although he's got his little toes down there. Um, just could have used just a little splash of red or something here, you know, just on these louvers in the back, maybe painted them a colour. Would have just made things pop a little bit better because as it is you know just black and silver and little bits of red isn't much of a deco but it looks all right it's quite good i i do kind of think he looks kind of cool with this new look it's certainly something that you could add the name hot rod to in terms of looks so we get a look at his like layer in bush disguise face over here yeah this was something which baffled me for a bit because it's like you look at the first pictures that came out of him and it's like oh he's got this he's got this visor he's got this sort of bike helmet looking face with the visor on there it's cool don't know what his blue bits and his cheeks are and then it turns out those blue bits down there are his eyes and his face just got really weird proportions and his eyes are really far apart and he's got a massive nose and what first looked like a cool gas mask face plate it's actually just some stuff around his mouth and then he's got a really human mouth and nose that are really small in there underneath and it's just weird and it's not good and I guess it only looks cool at this scale because you can kind of pass over most of the incredibly tiny detail and just see what you want to see. Or all, you know, Hot Rod is a little tiny bloke like this. There's nothing really wrong here at all in terms of being a Legion figure. They've got that kind of down now, despite the fact he does feel just small and thin and light, especially for a tiny guy like this. I mean, I'm used to the old hedonist days of actually rather solid Cybertron legends and like universe legends and all those. And nowadays these Legion figures, especially for the price they are, like seven quid, they're a little bit insubstantial compared to what they used to be, but, you know, so is everything else, so... Live with the times, man! Before I transform him, though, um, something, something he reminds me of. His transformation scheme, the way his posability is all worked into that. It reminds me of something else, another Legion figure. Where is he? 
Im. That's it. It's the Legion R.I.D. Sideswipe. He's just pretty much the same. You know, he's got the arms at the other sides of the car. His legs fold up and his feet fold up and make the top. The stuff on the back is, is different, admittedly, because, you know, that folds out that way and you've got the roof in there, whereas the roof is entirely on his back here. But it's very much the same sort of thing. Very similar, very similar. And to be honest, I feel like if they'd been really lazy, like they did with the first wave of these Legion guys and just used older moulds, like repainting Beast Hunter's smoke screen into barricade, they probably could have just repainted Sideswipe into Hot Rod and no one would have noticed. Or at least children under the age of 10 wouldn't have noticed. Let's transform him. It's of course deceptively easy. Put his legs together, point his feet out, get the roof gubbins over here on the top, put his arms up, fill in up the hole and then fold it all round. And there's his car mode that totally isn't a Lamborghini Centenario, is that what it is? It's totally not a car like Lockdown, it's just a, a very, just a nice sports car. I like how they've generified it actually, the front end with the lights and stuff there, that kind of angled bonnet. I actually really like that. I think it looks vaguely better than the actual real car that Hot Rod's supposed to be. It's got some red on the side, silver windscreen, that's it. It's a nice badge there, I guess. Um, yeah, very kind of stark looking alt mode, but I like the shape of it. I just, yeah, I like that. Spoiler, everything. It's a really nice looking little car. There he is with Sideswipe again, just to show that, you know, it's not that much different actually in shapes here going on, especially when, you know, Sideswipe is made to look kind of like the old Lamborghini or in G1. He could have got away with, you know, that whole Lamborghini-esque look going for a hot rod, couldn't they? But it's nice that they weren't lazy and gave us a whole new car because it does look rather nice. This bloke is only in Asda if you're in the UK or Walmart, the giant conglomeration of ever-consumerism capitalism temple um, in America. Um, I don't really understand why they've only had like, like hot rod is like their exclusive thing and it's like, didn't they have like exclusive one particular character for Age of Extinction as well? Was it Stinger? It's like you could only get that character in that shop and it's like, why? Really, they want the hot products, right? Ha 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 If you do find this guy a bit bland, there is, I, I don't think it's out in the UK, there is a two-pack with him looking a lot more like this fellow here. Lots more, I mean, it's, it's not supposed to be, I, I imagine. Wow, this, this desk isn't level, is it? It's, it's, it's this, it's this guy with some yellow flames on the front. It's made to look a little bit more like G1 Hot Rod, but because it's all black, it ends up looking way more like R.I.D. Hot Shot, and I would have really liked to get that version. Last night, Legion Hot Rod then, he's all right. Maybe, you know, try and get him cheap, because I imagine at some point, as is just gonna look at how many of these things I've got on the shelves and mark them down severely. I am very aware I haven't spoken very much about anything from the last night, especially around the time when the film is actually relevant and not now, it kind of isn't, because it's just about to come out on DVD. But like, you know, for this worth, there were a few good figures in there, weren't there? These are literally all the ones I've got. And it was it was okay while it lasted. But I'm very, very aware now that it's time for it to just get booted into the sun. For Power of the Primes to come along and replace it on shelves everywhere. And it's very, very sad that all around me, all you can find is like wave one. Maybe smattering a wave two. Maybe a few drifts around. But nothing, just nothing has moved the whole time that this line has been around and it's just indicative of well you know the lack of effort they've really put into it to make it a, a really decent cool memorable toy line it's just oh there's a film we better cash in with it hadn't we lads what's happened to the movie lines what's happened they're just like second fiddle to everything else won't last beyond christmas won't get any more than three waves and it's like what happened to the revenge of the fallen level of grandeur that the movie lines gave us. Oh well, c'est la vie.